Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney, and this is another episode of How to Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, comics, books, and video games. If this is your first time here and you want to see more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to press that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon to get notified anytime that I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need for this tutorial. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. If you still find that this video is going way too fast, you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right to slow it down. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. Also, if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely fine as well. Having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. So for this uh, xenomorph uh, drawing, we're going to have our paper in landscape mode this time. We're only going to be drawing uh, just the head and a little bit of the torso, uh, nothing much after that. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of detail, or we hope to have a lot of detail in it. It's not too hard, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. And let's, of course, get started by drawing the initial shape first. Okay, and we're gonna start off with the face is gonna be on this side, and I'm gonna draw this kind of curve right here, and I'm gonna draw a long, a really long head that goes all the way to there and then at this point I'm gonna make like the end of a sausage here you notice that it's not quite round so this would be round right here but what I'm doing is I'm going to make it a little bit longer or a little bit flatter I guess with a pointier end on that side okay and then from that I'm gonna bring it back to here so it looks like this and it does look like a banana and get your mind out of the gutter you guys <laughs> it's gotta say that now all right, so there's that. We've got the head right here. This is where the actual face is going to be. And then this is the part of the head that goes all the way to the back. Now we're going to draw a line right around here. And this is where we're going to, well, this is kind of like the jawline for the alien. Okay. And a little bit past that here, we're going to draw a line going like this and then line going down. Okay. Now let's go over here and right around here, we're going to draw a line going in like this. And this is the neck that we did right here. Now let's draw the shoulder and the shoulder is going to be, I'm gonna draw a little curve right here first. So this line right here, when you follow it down, you make this curve and the top of the curve is somewhere around here. So you want it to go up at the top over here and then it starts to go down. And you notice that this right here is longer than it is over here. Okay, so let's continue this kind of just goes out like this. And then we'll just continue the neck going in like that. And then this goes down like this. So it makes this curve like that. And then this goes down like this. And then over here, we're gonna draw a little spike coming out of the back from here. And make that kind of curve. And again, over here, sort of makes an S curve and goes up like that. So those are the main um, main aspects of the alien that we are about to draw. So let's go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to, you don't have to because it doesn't really matter, but just for the sake of fitting everything into the into my page, I'm going to narrow, make that one a little bit smaller, but you don't have to because there have been so many uh, versions of uh, the xenomorph. There's so many types that you can't really go wrong with your drawing. So there's the uh, main aspect of the xenomorph. Now let's start with the details on the head. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that's closer to the top. Like we're going to draw a line going down the middle, but it's closer to the top line by just a little bit. So I'm going to draw it like that. And I'm going to draw it to there. Now I'm going to find a spot right here, draw a line going across and then bring it up to that line. Okay. And then once you get here, this goes down like that. And that goes in like this. And that's that. Now, there's a lot of detail. I actually don't know where to begin. But uh, you know what, let's start right here. Let's start with the with the face. And let's start drawing in the details of the face. Now, there are parts to the face that are really smooth like this. The front of the head is super smooth. So you want to try to create that smooth line when you outline it. But 
uh, the rest of it is like really rough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a, I'm going to start right here, just above this little thing right here, and I'm going to bring it up to the tip like that. Okay, I'm going to do this lightly until I get to the very end. Okay, one there, and then another one here, and then right here is going to go straight, and then I'm going to reverse the direction now, slowly. So a couple of straight ones. And then now you guys notice, I'm slowly making it go the other way. And now I'm sort of making them not as smooth as before. And that's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay. So I've got that shape. Now we need to make some ridges right here. I'm going to create my first ridge just before this line. Okay. I'm going to bring this down closer to just closer to, or just bring it to down here. I'm going to make this rougher. So this isn't a smooth line. This goes rough. Okay. And then over here, I'm going to create a couple of just outlines to show, like to try to give it that, that there's something inside like a, a skull or something. So just a line going like that, going down, across, okay, right here. It kind of just looks like that. And when I ink it, this is going to be uh, inked lightly. And depending on it just depends, I guess, on how I want, uh, how I want it to look, I could actually just leave it smooth, because a lot of the art actually does that as well. Okay. Anyway, so I just created a whole bunch of lines right here, just really random, actually. Uh, there's a little bit of a like a, a nose, like a skull part of the nose right there. But that's it. Okay, now let's continue building these ridges. And in between uh, two lines, you want to create like a little ridge that goes up like that for each one of them. Now, don't make it uniform. Try to make it as uneven and rough as you can. Because um, with uh, alien monsters, the less they look uniform, the less they look, um, you know, symmetrical, um, the scarier they look. Okay, right here, it's create a little ridge right here. So that's what that looks like. Now let's work on each individual little head ridge. From here, I just go in, and I just create this line right here. So this doesn't really connect to this line. Each time I do it, I draw it roughly, and then I just continue like that, okay? And I try to make it so that each one of them is looks like an individual panel. Like it, it looks like an individual layer. And I'm going to create some lines inside as well. So I'm going to do that for each one of them. And I'm going to create some random just lines in between. And those lines just give it some more like texture. Now you notice that each little bump that goes up is not the same as the rest. I'm trying not to make it completely the same. Until I get to this point right here. And when you get to this point, yeah, you just leave it like that. Right here, I'm going to draw this uh, from from here, actually, sorry, I'm out of I'm out of frame here. From the jawline, I'm going to draw a line that goes across all the way to this tip right here. Okay. Now, from here, let's draw kind of like the the gums, and it sort of goes from there all the way to this line right here. And this, I want this to kind of stick out a little more than the face, just slightly. So it comes out a little bit more right here. Okay, now we're going to draw the teeth. The teeth are going to be there. Let's draw the lower jaw first. So here's the, um, the bottom lip right there. And then we're going to make the chin and the chin just comes out like this. And then just goes back. 
like that to about here. We're going to make this go up like that. And then right here is going to be, we're going to, we're going to find a spot right here, draw a line going down and then it goes across until you meet the, the mouth. But that's, that's not all we're, we're going to add some teeth and all that stuff to it. So we'll leave that for later. Let's continue with the rest. There's a lot of detail going on over here. So let's uh, try to, I'll try to break it down as easy as I can. And just trying to figure out where to start and how to frame it. Cause I did this drawing three times using three different reference photos and it came out different each time. So I'm trying to think of one that looks the best. Okay. So I'm going to draw a line from here, going across to about here. And I'm going to curve that up like that. Okay. Now this is going to have a series of lines, just curved lines draw them two at a time and then they just go in like this like they curve downwards to the left and you just keep going just like that and then I'm just creating this little dimple each time in between those like two lines I just bring it in okay right here a little bit of like veiny material We'll just bring it out and then make a W. Okay, right here. Actually, let's bring this all the way up to that point. Okay, and then over here, we're just gonna have another, another little vessel of some sort, excuse me. And I want this to just have these lines like this. Okay, with this veiny stuff, I'm gonna outline that and some more stuff in there, some more of the veins. Looks like that. So that's what it looks like right there. Okay. Now right here, back of the neck here, bring it down forward and then up like this. Okay. Now for this, we're going to just create lines halfway up, just curved lines going halfway up and some more little ones from the top going down. Okay. Now right here, let's draw some, uh, a line going across. Think of it as a tendon. And then from here going to the back of the head, some more tendons. Now for the tendons, I'm drawing a line on like starting from here and kind of just like bringing it to the center. Okay, and then this little space in between, you just create more curved, a bunch of backwards letter C's all the way to the end. Okay, remember to make this as rough as you can. The more rough looking it looks, the gorier it looks. All right, now right here, let's just going, we're just going to draw a line going to there, and then we're just gonna bring it down. A line going there and then down. One little line right there, just for the shine. There you go. Let's zoom in on the face. Let's start working on the teeth. Okay. Now the teeth are very random and I'm going to start right here. I'm going to draw a, a tooth, just a little thing coming down like that. And then next to it, a smaller one. And next to that, a smaller one. Okay. Now let's do two more, two smaller ones going down like that. Okay. And then over here, teeth jutting forward. And then just try to draw a couple of teeth in between, in between the, 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 the triangles that you created from the top teeth, just draw some bottom teeth right underneath them. Okay. Now from here, I draw a line going down and this is going to be like tendons that, that go from the top all the way down two lines. And then with the tendons, I draw I just draw it looking like that. Let's go back here and we're going to draw a line going this way. Now, some more tendons going down to the lower jaw looks like that. And then some more from here going to this part of the jaw and like that. 
Okay, and as with the tendons, lines going up and lines going down in between, looking like that. Okay, and right here is going to be the jawline. Let's start over here first in this uh, little part, the little tip of the jaw we're going to draw. A line going in like this, and then just this. I'll start from this point, and then I just bring a couple of lines going out from it. And right here, lines going across underneath towards the chin. There you go. And then from here, just lines going down. Here, a couple of lines curving. And just some details. Just try to draw as many of those wrinkly lines and make it look more monstrous. There you go. And that's that's a good representation of the, the mouth right there. Now, there are different ways to do it. You could even draw it open mouth if you want and draw that little uh, tongue thing that sticks out with even more teeth. But uh, that's how we're going to draw that one. Now, let's draw the, uh, the neck part. Let's start over here. And we're going to draw a line going all the way to there. Okay. And then I draw that. It's going to be another, like a tendon. Start from here again and bring it all the way out like that. Now, over here, this line goes down like this. And then I do that twice. Okay. For this line, I'm going to start right here and I'm going to create a whole bunch of lines going all the way down to the, uh, the shoulder part. Okay. Right here, these are tendons. So that's what that looks like. Now over here, I'm going to create like a, like a V shape, like a triangle shape right there. And then from here, I'm going to bring this down until it goes down again, it goes down towards the shoulder. Okay, that's more tendons right there. Now from here, actually from, from here, I'll draw a line going across like that. And then from here, we follow that same curve. So it looks like this. And then from here now, this going all the way up like that. And from here going all the way up like that. This is going to be a series of curves like this. And this similarly a series of curves going across just like that. Now here I'm going to draw a whole bunch of lines from this from this point spreading out like that. So think of it as like spider webs. And then each of those lines I draw, or each of the spaces that it makes, I draw these lines like this, but I do them very randomly. I don't want them to be the same size. And I don't want them to line up with each other. Until you reach, until you do all of them. Essentially, that's what that is. All right, now let's uh, continue on. Over here is going to be some tendon. So just draw those lines right there. Okay, a few more spaces right here that we need to fill. So we're just going to fill it with a bunch of kind of random, random shapes and outlines. So from here to there, I drew this line. Now right here, I'm going to draw a bunch of spikes. It looks like that. And then two lines seemingly going through those or underneath those spikes all the way to the edge. So it looks like that. Okay. Now over here, I'm just going to draw some short lines. And then at the bottom, I do the same thing. So it looks like that. And then I draw just a couple of lines going across, just some details some really, really tiny details. Okay, over here, I start from here, line going down. And then like we did over here, just a bunch of lines going across at random spots, make sure that they don't touch each other or meet each other or anything. Now we do the same thing over here. Okay, a bunch of lines. And that's the trick to creating this really good or creating these xenomorphs is uh, the detail. The devil is in the detail, like they say. 
Okay, now over here, just going to when it's going across like that. And each one of them, I'm going to draw different patterns. Some of them are these like these hose hoses with the, these curves, and some of them are tendon. Now this is where your artistic um, your artistic ability sort of goes into instinct mode. Whatever you think looks right for that spot. Okay. Now let's go over here. I just want to fill this in a little bit with a little more detail. There you go. Okay, so that's the head. Now let's work on the shoulder part of it. And the shoulder is very similar, uh, very similar to the, the head in that we just add details and we just add layers and layers of details until you get the kind of look that you want. Okay, so this sort of goes and ends right around here. And the shoulder part actually goes over this way and then just sort of goes down right here. Oh, sorry, I was off camera for all of that. Let me try that again. Um, this little thing is actually a shoulder pad. Okay, I bring it down over here and the rest of it becomes the chest. The actual shoulder starts over here and it goes this way and it goes down over here. Okay, so we're left with this shape just like that. Now over here, there's a part that kind of looks like a, um, like a, um, what am I trying to say here? It looks like a shell. Start from here, bring it this way, like a snail. And it goes like that. And underneath it is a bunch of, a bunch of uh, more details and they don't follow the curve. So this one right here goes all the way to there and then it stops. And this one now, it goes to there. It sort of follows the curve, but it stops right here. And then I'll do a third one goes up and, and then we'll let this one follow the curve all the way to this tip. Okay. Now each one of them has this pattern right here, little curved lines. Going all the way till you reach the end. Okay, right here, I'm just gonna draw a little faint line going across and you're left with this curved shell-like shape right there, okay? Now, right here is just a whole bunch of just wrinkles and they're kind of skin stretched over bone. And that's kind of hard to translate on paper. So what you just do is you just create a whole bunch of wrinkles Just looking like, think of it looking like uh, your ear, where it's just a skin and it just looks like that. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna draw two lines going down and the same pattern like this, going down the back. Okay, this little spiky thing in the back, let's work on that before we do the rest. Okay, right here, I'm gonna draw another curve all the way to the tip. And I'll do another one down here, all the way to the tip, okay? From the tip, I create a bunch of uh, a rough, rough texturing down along the side. Now, when you reach this point, think of it as trying to draw a spine. So you create a whole bunch of random uh, bone growths coming out, coming out like this, some sharp, some rounded, and it looks like that, okay? These ones are not as tall as the ones that we're about to draw over here. Now these ones over here are gonna be pretty tall, so I want it to be about that tall. I'm gonna draw an imaginary line just going across like that, and that's how tall we want it to be, okay? So that goes up and then goes down. And these are all very randomly shaped and randomly spaced too. There you go. And that's just, that's bone right there. Okay. And I just create a series of just little detailed lines down here at the bottom. And there you go. There's the bone growth that is in the back of the xenomorph right there. You can make this any size that you want because any, just like humans, 
uh, these xenomorphs are all, they all have different features and they all look different depending on the movie, comic book, video game, what have you. Okay, right here, I'm just gonna bring that up. Just a bunch of details like that. Okay, and then, well, the shoulder bit, this goes, we're just going to draw the top of the shoulder. So that goes like that, that's the actual shoulder or the, the start of the arm. And here's the other start of the arm right there. You got a line going through right there and we're going to do that, that texture. Some ridges from there going across. So I'm just creating a whole bunch of just these random ridges that look like that. Okay, and you think of it as trying to create like this, the, the shoulder muscle going in. That's what you're trying to do. But I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, from here, that just goes down. And then, you know what, let's, let's draw a couple of things going this way. And just like that. And then over here, I'm going to draw another U shape right there. A bunch of lines going across underneath it. And we'll just leave it like that. And now, once you have this, you're pretty much done with your xenomorph drawing. And that's it, you guys. Hope that wasn't too hard. It's just a lot of detail, but once you get the, the spacing or once you get the basic shapes, you can pretty much do however you want. And that is how you draw a xenomorph, uh, more specifically a soldier drone a xenomorph from the Alien franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end of this tutorial video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to Instagram and tag me with your pictures so that I can see them or head on over to Google Plus and post your artwork there for everybody to enjoy. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. And if you feel like being extra generous, I have links below for different ways that you can support this channel. First is my Patreon at Patreon patreon.com slash draw it to check it out to find out more about the rewards you get for becoming my patron next i have official draw to merchandise that you can purchase such as t-shirts mugs and mouse pads and finally you can purchase some of my art prints in my online store at storeenvy.com slash draw it to your contributions go a long way in making sure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge. If you guys did like this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. Also, if you liked this video, comment it below or share this with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are on this channel. Again, you guys, all of these links are down in the description below. Finally, thank you once again for watching, and as always, Stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video.